I decided to take a road trip from Berlin all the way to Lanzarote. Let's go! Palm trees are full of beautiful, colorful birds. <laughs> what a place, man. Sevilla is just spectacular. It's probably hard to grasp the dimensions of this. This is an incredible cathedral. So cozy, man. So cute, so beautiful orange trees as far as the eye can see. How narrow can you build? Sevilla is the capital of Andalusia and has almost 700,000 citizens, much bigger than Cordoba. The Cathedral of Sevilla that we just saw is the biggest church in Spain and one of the biggest churches in the world. It was built between 1401 and 1519. It took over a hundred years to build it, and it also is a World Heritage Site. You're looking at the biggest Gothic church on Earth. This is a straight up nine. Loads of shops, still open until late. It's Monday evening and it's so packed. Chestnuts. You can light candles for whatever religious purpose. Thank you, Sevilla. I'm gonna head back to the car now. Good night. Welcome to Cadiz Beach. Today's the day. I'm gonna take the ferry over to Lanzarote. It's gonna be a 27 hour ride. This is the perfect day for that crossing. I've never seen this part of the world so flat. I surfed on this beach and it can actually provide pretty good waves. Time to go for breakfast. Classic Andalusian breakfast. Thank God I like tomatoes. And the coffee is always good here. So simple, so good. Really just tomatoes. Going food shopping for the ferry. Never know what they got on board, so I want to make sure I'm alright. Half a liter of wok for 329. I mean it's a long boat ride. Look at this giant piece of nonsense. 
I'm a few hours early, but I just want to make sure that everything is all right. This is the boat, I think, yeah. Okay. So that's me to it on air. I am obviously not the first person who is early. Jesus. I felt stupid about being here that early. Since the first stop is Arecife, and we will board last and exit the ship first. Many cars go beyond that, like to the other Canary Islands. Finally, I'm moving. I'm behind the gate. The Garda Seville is already checking the cars and the documents. Of course, they're pulling me out. I can see the guy doesn't trust me at all. Then he's like, we have a dog of drugs. I'm like, sure, bring the dog. There's nothing in my car, really except for a couple of mushrooms. I saw the dog and I mean, if I was a guy, I would have just taken it out of that little cage and have him sniff around in my van a little bit. Oh! cars in case we get some rough seas so this is my cabin for the next 27 hours or 1100 kilometers it's not allowed to actually sleep in your car you're supposed to hang out on a seat under deck I'm gonna definitely sneak my way into my car and have some good sleep let's go explore the boat so I gotta check in at the reception first because there are food coupons, this is all inclusive. And I asked the guy whether or not they have vegan food and obviously, yes, they do. So this is the car deck. This is the reception and you're supposed to sleep in these seats unless you book a cabin, which I didn't because I'm gonna sleep in my car, like I said. This is deck five. You get food coupons, that's like four meals. And that's available at, I think, deck five as well, just at the other end of the boat. Let's check it out. There's a shop here. And very important, a bar. Uh, this seems to be the restaurant. Let's see what they got, man. Not vegan. This might be, even though there's seafood in there. Also seafood. It seems to be uh, predominantly meat. This, this might be actually vegan. That looks pretty vegan to me. Fries and more pasta. Not too bad, man. Not too bad. So this is supposedly the only vegan dish they have. A little bit of salad on the side. Could be good. The drinks are included as well. Even beer and even desserts. Oh, there's nothing vegan here for sure. This is so much better than I expected. So I have like four more meals left. 27 hours. Easy. This is probably right the front. Yeah, it is. Last time we had six to eight meter waves and all the water was splashing onto the window here. All right, that was fine. Let's find the sweet spot for the boat. Somewhere we can hang out outside and drink a beer. Hello. Deck number seven. Still inside. Thank you. Alrighty. Fair enough. Or the place are taken, god damn it. Ah, there's my baby. Look at her. I love her. Cheers. What a view. <laughs> we are taking off now. This is going pretty fast. the ocean parallel to Morocco all the way to my favorite place in the world the Lanzarote I'm already 
in my car. Been on the ocean for well, barely an hour. Even though it's very flat and calm, still feels a bit weird to be on a different element. My equilibrium. <laughs> it is just past midnight. It's pitch black out there. Going since eight hours now. Another 19 hours to go. Sneaked my way into the car. Nobody really seems to mind. At least nobody's checking. Took me uh, one, two hours to actually adjust to the motion, even though it's very subtle. It's like long waves in the Atlantic, just swinging really slowly. Good night, guys. Good morning. Rising. It's a beautiful, sunshiny day. It's still pretty calm. It was a bit more bumpy at some point in the night. Some hundred kilometers this way is Morocco and a couple of thousand kilometers this way is America 12 past 10 these guys are being a little bit sleazy here aren't they let's try and find some breakfast in sight, three hours to go. Land in sight. You can see La Graciosa and Orzola and the peak point is probably Mount Corona and the Risco up there with a radar station on top. Yeah man, I already know this island pretty well. What a time to be alive. Incredible. Like in 50 years from now, this won't be possible. And 50 years ago, it was unaffordable. Alessipe Lanzalote. All right, we're here. Time to slowly get behind the wheel. That wasn't that bad. Smooth sailing, man. Calm seas, good food, comfy bed. <laughs> it's all good. We are on the island. Yahoo!